Do you need to take this and make it into this? Then you're in the right place. In this video, you can steal my secret Excel pro tips that everyone should know, but nobody's talking about. Welcome to Learn with Shopify. I'm Bridget O'Rourke, your host of today's video. Let's go through a step-by-step -step guide on how to use Excel with some AI hacks to build you into a data master. Let's get into it. If you're the type of person who hates data entry, like me, then you're gonna love these hacks. So let's say you've got a ton of data. That's great, but it's printed on a piece of paper and it looks something like this. You do not have to enter this manually. Watch this. I'll just open up Excel on my phone, start a new spreadsheet, select this sheet icon at the bottom, three dots, insert data from picture, and I'll scan the sheet of monthly t-shirt sales, then I'm gonna check over the data that Excel generated, confirm the import, and you are digitized. I know what you're saying, I don't own the full version of Excel. Well, you're in luck. You can also do this without even downloading Microsoft Office. You can access a lot of these features with Excel on the web. So similar to tip one, you can add an image from your computer to be turned into an Excel document. Just head to Excel on the web and upload it using this data from picture feature. So for those of you with commitment issues, that's the solution. And if your import turns out messy like this, I got you. Just stick around and you'll get some secret tips to making your data look pristine. Sometimes you wanna be able to just copy and paste data into Excel, but a lot of the time it ends up lumped together like this. To organize it and split it up, select the column, go to data, text to columns, choose delimited, Set your separator, so in this case, the data is separated by colons, and you'll see a preview here of the split. This is perfect for breaking down those jumbled imports into actual usable info. You can also do this on ChatGPT. Let's say that you have a ton of data that you want to copy and paste into Excel. Copy the data and write this prompt. Give me this data in a comma delimited table, or tab delimited, or space delimited, your preference, to copy and paste into Excel. You can also get specific here. Header should be date, product, quantity sold, sales price, cost, total revenue, profit. Now just press copy and you can paste this into Excel and your data will be automatically organized and everything will be distributed into individual cells. Did you like that one? Make sure to stick around for another AI hack at the end of this video. So this next one is gonna ease your mind. We've all had the scare of losing a spreadsheet or a document, right? Has this ever happened to you? Let me know in the comments. Well, fortunately, Excel has this amazing feature that will make sure that this never happens again. Recovering lost files is super easy with Excel's version history. We're just gonna go to File, Browse Version History. There's also an autosave feature available in Excel that saves your files automatically every few seconds as you work. Autosave is enabled by default in Microsoft 365 when a file is stored on OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, or SharePoint Online. So to take advantage of the autosave feature, always make sure that you're saving your files to one of those places. And that brings us to our next tip, file save. That's how we all do it, right? Well, a lot of the time, files need to be preserved in their original form for record keeping or for compliance purposes. So if you're gonna create a new file based on an existing file, Microsoft actually recommends using file, save a copy, and saving this as a new copy before making any changes. That way, autosave won't overwrite the original file with the changes, it will overwrite the copy of the original. Alternatively, you can save templates of workbooks that you use frequently, like monthly financial reports or sales data. Design your template and then go to File, Save as Template. This is gonna save you a ton of time instead of always starting from scratch or risking the loss of an original file. And if you don't wanna create those yourself, Excel has got you covered. We're gonna talk more about templates in a bit. Now, before we figure out what to do with all the data that we've just inputted or recovered, are you liking this video so far? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments or even just hit that like button. This channel that you're watching right now is Learn with Shopify and we teach you everything you need to know about running your business. So if you're looking to get some more tips and tricks, then stick around by pressing subscribe. So we have all this data in Excel now. Let's talk about some ways that you can speed up data analysis. Highlighting standout data can show you trends in seconds. So let's say that we want to glance at sales over $100. Select the data points, go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules, Greater Than, and type 100. 
This allows you to easily identify which days were particularly profitable. This can help you in understanding sales trends, evaluating the effectiveness of marketing campaigns, or preparing reports for stakeholders. You have to learn basic Excel formulas like sum, average, and count in order to crunch numbers quickly. For example, to see our total inventory here, check this out. You can see that the stock numbers start in cell B2 and end in B51. This is called our range. To write this in formula form, it would be B2 colon B51. So click where you want the total, let's say B52. Hit up the formula bar and type your formula. In this case, I would type equals SUM bracket B2 colon B51 bracket. There you go, instant results, no calculator needed. Excel formulas are great, but fixing a broken formula is a headache, especially if it wasn't made by you. So here's how you can fix it. Select the cells that have the formula. Go to formulas, error checking, and now you're gonna have help from the expert itself to fix those formula errors. Named ranges allow you to assign a name to a specific cell range. This feature can simplify formula creation, making your spreadsheets easier to understand and maintain. So here's how to use named ranges in Excel. Select the cell or the range of cells that you want to name. Go to formulas, click on define name. Enter a name, it may already be filled out based on the header, and then click OK. Now when you go to write a formula, instead of using the cell range, you can just type in the name of the range. Why keep your data looking like this when it can look like this? Tables not only make your data look good, but they also make managing it much easier with the ability to sort and filter. So to transform your data into a table, select the beginning and the end of your data, go to the Insert tab, hit Table. If your data has headers, make sure my table has headers is checked off. And now you can sort and filter your data. A pivot table is a powerful Excel tool that allows you to summarize, analyze, and explore your data in a whole new way. Imagine you have a massive data set of customer purchases. With a pivot table, you can easily see which products are selling the most in different regions, helping you to identify trends and make informed business decisions. Here's how to do it. Select any cells within your data range. Go to the Insert tab, click on Pivot Table, and now you can slice and dice your data. Now, if you don't want to make your own pivot tables or analyze your own data, why not have Excel do it for you? Go to Home, Analyze Data. Look at this, you'll have pivot table recommendations and even chart recommendations. And what I love about this is you can ask Excel questions about comparing or presenting different types of data, and it'll essentially do it for you. For those of you that just love organization, these next few pro tips are for you. But they're also for anyone who just wants their Excel documents to actually make sense, especially if you're sharing them with a team. The first step in organization is making sure nobody can mess with your organized sheets. So go to review, protect sheet, or protect workbook. Now you can give either the individual sheet or the whole workbook a password and state what people are allowed to do with it. This is great for eliminating unauthorized edits or, you know, if you want to keep your data secure. We don't want errors in our Excel sheets, do we? Errors in data entry can throw off your entire analysis. Maybe you want to make it so only certain text can be entered in certain columns. Highlight the range, head to the Data tab, click Data Validation, and choose List. Type in the valid items, or to save time, you can just highlight the range where the items are listed. Now you can have a drop-down menu to choose from when manually entering data, so there's no risk of typos throwing off your analytics. It's easy to get lost when scrolling through a ton of data. Freeze panes keep your headers in view so you can scroll through volumes without losing track. Go to the View tab, click Freeze Top Row, and scroll away and you'll see your header glued to the top of your screen. Another super annoying thing to deal with is duplicate data because this can skew your entire analysis. It happens all the time with email lists. Cleaning this up is crucial. So select the data where you want to remove duplicates, head to the data tab, remove duplicates. This is going to keep your data clean and your insights accurate. Okay, so now you know some organization hacks, but like, what if you aren't an organized person or you just have no idea where to start? Lucky you, Excel has got you covered with templates. You can look up invoices, Gantt charts, finance reports, inventory, whatever you need, Excel has probably got a template for you. Like, look at this one. It's like quarterly sales report, but make it cute. 
You can significantly enhance your productivity if you just eliminate any tools that you don't use from the toolbar or the ribbon. It will make navigation so much easier. So go to Excel, Preferences, Ribbon and Toolbar, and you can choose to just feature the tools that you use the most, both on your ribbon and on your quick access toolbar. This means that only the tools that you specify will appear regardless of which tab you're in. This is gonna save you a ton of clicks and a ton of time. Now, if you own a business, then yes, you need to be using AI to help speed up your processes. I'll give you a quick look into what can be done with AI. So let's say you have a spreadsheet full of data that you want to understand better. This could be any type of data. This is what you're gonna do. Save your Excel sheet, head over to ChatGPT, attach your Excel file here and write this prompt. Draw any major conclusions from this data that will help me move my business forward. Now you pretty much have a data analysis coach that will help you analyze your business data. It's brilliant, right? If you liked the AI tips included in this video, then I'm gonna link a video above for you that you are just gonna love. Now, if you wanna analyze your store's analytics, like I just did, if you have a Shopify store, you can check and create all of these types of reports right from your dashboard. If you wanna try out Shopify for free, I'll link a free trial for you down below. Well, we did it. We made it through 20 Excel tips that are going to make handling data so much more simple for you. Do you have any other Excel tips that will help the community? Leave them down in the comments. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. It was an absolute pleasure. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos all about business growth and development. Again, my name is Bridget O'Rourke and I'll catch you later.